Hi, I'm Kamal. My research topic is comparative study on academic performance by children studying in government and college school. Have done the flow chart. It's like an introduction. First, I've gone through the what is education and then my views. And then later I've taken the review of literature from other sources, what the author says about the education and for the children. A research methodology, a company profile of the schools in the government, and the data analysis. Interpretation I have collected from all review of literature, and then my findings, limitations, suggestions, conclusions. I have stated you about know, the research methodology. A research methodology is like aims of study. My aim is to what is the reason that government school cannot perform a good in academic. Objectives to know the teaching style in both these schools. The impact of social environment. The reason for poor performance by the government student. Source of data. It's both primary as well as secondary. Primary is a a face-to-face -face interview with the children and secondly is through the uh, magazines and other books of the authors about education. A research design is a descriptive which I have chosen. It's not explored, I'm not exploring anything. It's already been faced that government school perform low. So I'm describing it why they perform low in the academic performance. Sampling process, its probability, have taken it in a random way. A universe, universe have taken two schools in locality, it's one is government and one is convent. Research procedures, it's like an interview, a face to face, a direct interview is being taken with children in the schools. A company profile of both schools. A difference between government and government school. The government, it's a lack in good trained teacher. And in government, as we know, a high qualified teacher. Uh, environmental problems faced by children in government school. A good environment. Language problem. Here in the government school, children speak in their own mother tongues. And here the students are trained to speak money in English. If they doesn't speak, there's a fine and so on. Teacher absentees are more in government school and they are not bothered about their schools because the salary is being provided by government and no one rules and regulation is not being followed. Not much absentees work. And student lack opportunity in school as they are not able to exhibit their talents and their interests in the field. More opportunity to excel, as well as in the academic and in sports, dance and activities such thing. A very rare parents and teacher meeting is held and here often parents and teacher meeting is arranged. Scoreless marks, here the same person result is being. Uh, students are neglected by teachers and student and teacher have a good relationship. <laughs> findings. My finding is the government school student can do better in the academic performance if all the needs are being fulfilled. A teaching methodology should be changed in government school. The space of communication with students and teachers. A parent's role are involved in student's performance. Here the parents of the government school are neglecting the children. Here they have the family problems and this may involve the children to get a low performance in academic. A school development is not faster in government school 
and whereas the, the basic facility is not even recovered. Unhygienic environment in government school when compared to convent school. A rules and regulations should be maintained in both the schools and opportunities for the students to show their talents and sudden dropout of a school student should be questioned to the parents. Here are the a company profile of a government school. Majority girls should be educated. As we say, a girl one is educated, she educates the whole family. Once the family is being educated, it covers the community. To overcome our problems like water and sanitation and the environment problems in government school. A trained teacher, high qualified teacher should be selected. A strict rules and should be adopted. Avoid early managers. Avoid dropouts. As I conclude saying that, join your hands to educate children. Thank you.